Hi, hello. Uh, I'm Timo, I'm from RiseUp, uh, and today I will have a talk about learning in, in the flow of work. Uh, but let me introduce myself first. Uh, I'm Timo, I'm based in the Netherlands. Uh, I'm territory manager of the Benelux and a part of the UK. And today, well, I will have a, a talk about how can you learn in the flow of work. But I first want to tell you a little bit about RiseUp. Uh, I'm from the company RiseUp, but you have seen it already probably. Uh, and we're a Paris-based LMS LXP. Uh, so we're really focused on trying to give a good experience for every learner, uh, learner out there, but also give a really oh, <laughs> live a good, give a good experience for the admin itself or the content creator, so they can create e content with our own authoring tool into the system. Um, but let's start with learning in the flow of work. There we go. Um, yeah, so what we see today is that uh, a lot of uh, workers or employees don't have the skill to do their work in a proper way. Um, and today I want to tell you, okay, how can you close the gap between uh, getting that skill up for that employee and also tell you a little bit more, okay, how can you really be at the place as well where they're doing their work? and uh, that they can skill up during the work during their working hours oh, it this way. and we have found a solution uh, to yeah to to make this to make this work for uh, employees and it's it's we are no, we have an official partnership with Microsoft Teams and what does that mean well our LMS LXP is fully integrated into the uh, uh, into the, uh, the Teams environment. So people don't have to go to other systems, they're fully integrated, they can just learn in their environment where they're working uh, in, during the day. Um, and maybe our philosophy is that um, you should learn uh, today or own today and not tomorrow because we see a lot of L&D managers, they focus on, okay, what is the content to come? How do we need to scale up for tomorrow? Um, but it's also important to give these skills that people or employees need to have today. So you need to make it easy for these employees to find the skill gap that they need to have today to become better in their job. Uh, because we see that people are missing the skills uh, during the day, and it's, uh, you saw that in the other sheet, they were, they we're missing skills to do their job better. And so, yeah, you want to improve your, your employees. I do it every time, sorry. And what we also see from out of research is that uh, one of the top challenges is to, to help uh, your employee to scale up more because most of the time they're very busy during their day trying to, to get yeah, to doing their work. But where do you find the time to scale up yourself and to become better uh, in your job? Um, and that is a top challenge we see and we're trying to solve that with, with our application in Microsoft Teams but also uh, with our uh, native app that we have so people can do it on their mobile phone as well. Um, and it doesn't matter if you're a, a, a blue worker or a white collar worker, we can help you with that, uh, to solve that issue. Sorry, I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, yeah, why learning in the flow of work and what's part of, of, of our uh, methodology uh, is yeah, first tackle the lack of time uh, in the in the in in the in, in our uh, uh, solution. Get it available, whatever they need it at whatever time they want to learn um, in in w during their working hours, um, and also try to drive deeper uh, employee engagement. And what do we mean with drive uh, deeper uh, deeper employee engagement? Is make the trainings fun. Uh, and also try to make it micro-learning. So we work together with different uh, partners out there that also facilitate content that are in micro-learning. So it's easy to take that content during the days and also make it very personalized so that it's relevant for the people that are going to do the job. For example, a finance, finance people don't want to see in their main screen something about Excel or, or I mean, uh, uh, for, for customer support or uh, customer relations, you want to show something about how to work with numbers and how to improve uh, your skill during, uh, yeah, during for your job. 
Um, and also uh, try to boost social learning as well. Try to, to help or, uh, your employee with, uh, yeah, to, to, to get in contact with his trainer, to get in contact with his, with his, with his manager uh, or with his, with his uh, uh, colleagues. And it needs to be easy as well. Yeah, implementing our, our tool is quite easy. It's an out-of-the-box integration. You can just click, uh, if you have our system fully and you have Microsoft Teams, it's a one click of a button and it's implemented for all your, your, your employees. And all the content that is available in RiseUp will automatically be loaded in, into Microsoft Teams. So it's an, it, to really make learning a, a, a neutral part of the day for your workers and also, um, yeah, to make it make it neutral for everyone uh, to learn, to make it a real learning organization in your area, because it's easy to reach. They don't have to go to another tool; they can just find it where they're working, and it can be automatically scheduled in their calendar as well. So, for example, they can say, "Hey, I want 50 minutes of, uh, of per week. I want to train 50 minutes per day or per week," and the system will automatically schedule that into your calendar, uh, and everyone can see. Hey, uh, in this case, Timo is learning about this subject. Uh, and I can click in my calendar, go to Teams, start uh, the micro learning, and then uh, skill myself up. Doesn't always work. So. I also also want to give a, a case study on something that uh, for AKA uh, Technologies, how they implemented Microsoft Teams and uh, uh, Rise Up into their uh, um, yeah organization. A small bit about AKA uh, Technologies. Uh, it's a uh, consulting group in the automotive, automotive, energy, and aerospace. They have, they have around 20,000 employees all over the world, and they uh, help customers uh, in the engineering consultant for, for Airbus, BMW, Renault. So it's a very large organization that is a global company as well. And they had a, 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 a new project from, okay, how can we become a learning organization and how can we, uh, yeah, skill up our, uh, employees within our organization, how to make it easy for them. So they had some key objectives. Um, one first of all was, okay, consulting, they have consultants and they wanted to, to make them yeah, better in their work and try to improve their, their skill within the organization. They also wanted to create a, a culture of, of a learning culture. Um, they used an, an only an LMS and not uh, a, a real experience system uh, and what they saw was that the, the people didn't really go into the system it was a real issue for them to, to, to become better in their job um, and then they really wanted to create uh, content that was relevant for everyone in the organization it doesn't matter at which region you were working but also uh, or in what role you were working it needed to be relevant for you as a, as a person and they also to wanted to, to focus on business outcomes instead of only uh, metrics from hey how many time how many hours did you spend in your in your uh, uh, learnings or uh, how many minutes did you play or how many certifications did you did you uh, 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 did, you, did you approve or sorry for my language but <laughs> this is a screenshot how it would look like So we applied um, the same methodology in the same sector, but in different uh, 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 wording um, by us and a AKA Technologies. The first one was learning the core. Support was important for them. Peer learning, micro learning, and from credentials to outcomes, instead of uh, yeah, how many hours were you in the system, but really get the skill that you need at that, during that time of the day. So the core, um, yeah, what they used to do was they, they, they made content 
that was more focused on the L&D uh, person, that they thought, hey, this is necessary for us, for our employees to know, to, to, for compliance reasons or uh, for things that they thought was interesting for them, but they wanted to do it on a different side. They wanted to create hyper-personalized uh, content for the employees, but they didn't want to create it from the uh, L&D person. It needed to be from bottom up. Uh, so they wanted to create t t content together with high performers in their uh, organization, together with the L&D uh, person, so they can make it really relevant and also from people from, uh, from the workforce uh, to create content. And that is what they did. Flexible timing. Um, it used to be that there would give a lot of face-to-face uh, -face, uh, training, so people had to go to, to a certain place at, at the time that, that, was, that was, was fixed by the L&D uh, professional. But now they wanted to do more, uh, they wanted to create time for the employee when they find it necessary to learn and would, would fit their schedule. Um, again, I told you how, we, how you could do it. We are also a blended learning platform. So they created micro learnings about a specific uh, course or sp specific skills. And during that uh, uh, e-learning, they could also apply to a virtual training or to a blended uh, learning plan with dates that they could register to. Uh, so what you can do in RiseUp is also manage your, your schedule for uh, learnings, uh, for face-to-face for -face or virtual learnings, and then add, make a schedule into the learning and then people can register to the time that they would fit, would fit for them, for maybe one is in after hours, uh, in the evening, one is in the morning, one is during lunch, and one is during uh, the afternoon, for example. Uh, during the full year, you can schedule the, these dates. And that's what uh, AKA Technologies did. Also, ongo ongoing support, because people didn't really go to a certain place to, yeah, to ask questions to the trainer, to have like, uh, an, an engagement with each other. It was important for them that if an employee started the training, they also needed to, uh, yeah, needed to connect with each other. They, need, they needed to be accessible for people to ask questions to the trainer or to their manager or even the, the content creator. Uh, so what we can support is we have a chatbot. You can ask questions regarding certain subjects, but you can also contact in Teams your trainer or your, uh, your manager or even the other trainees that are following this, this course uh, to ask questions or to have a discussion by social learning. Again, micro learnings, I've, I've told you a little bit about it earlier, but uh, they, cr they created full e-learnings, but they made bytes of learnings. So the system could automatically create learning bytes for this person. So for example, 50 minutes about a certain subject that was maybe three hours, was now in two half an hours and a couple of 50 minutes short uh, uh, micro learnings. So it could fit during their day or when they were traveling home, they could just do it on their mobile phone and learn about a certain skill. And peer-to-peer -peer training. It's the social learning part, especially when you're now in teams. It's really easy to communicate with each other and to make group learnings or group learning activities together uh, to, yeah, to, to, to learn together. So it's the blended learning part. It's to make community groups and discuss certain skill points. For example, someone crea a, a top performer created a training with an L&D. They can have a discussion during the, during the training or in a social learning environment from, hey, this skill might be different, or I did it in this way, that also works to improve the training as well. Oh, I go. My apologies. There we go. Um, so they first focused on, on, on credits, on how many hours did a trainer take? It was really focused on maybe more for the L&D person that they can, could say from, hey, 
our workers did so many trainings a day, but was it really necessary for, for that employee? Was it really relevant for, the, for that employee? And most of the times, it, it really wasn't. So AKA wanted to do it different. They wanted to, to focus on business outcomes. Okay, is it really relevant for the business outcome? For example, sales. Um, and how can, how can we measure in a new way that people are, are actually doing the trainings? Uh, so what they do it, they did it by an MPS score and a knowledge score. So on, 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 at the end of every training, people would give a certain score from, hey, did I like the training? Did I didn't like the training? Would I apply this to, would I, would I recommend it to other people in my organization or not? Uh, and then, uh, yeah, you, you would have better trainings, but also um, you would see if people would do the trainings or not. Uh, and it, it make it relevant for, for the employees to completely keep, keep improving the trainings as well. Of course, I can't share all the, the technical or all the information of, of AKA Technologies because yeah, it's, it's, it's private. But here are some uh, scores that, uh, that came up. Uh, they had a way better average score in, in, in the NPS. And also their knowledge score went up by 80% because it was hyper-focused on the things they needed to have for their, for their employees or do, to doing their job. And it was easy to find. And maybe a use case as well, because uh, the, it had a big impact for their sales, uh, for the consultant, because they created trainings together with their top performance, top performance, and they focused on, okay, how can you close uh, deals? How can you... Uh, uh, improve your 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 uh, yeah yeah your sales pitch. Um, together with a group, they saw a big increase in uh, in in their margins because they got focused on on and, and they worked as a team and trained as a team, and yeah had the right knowledge to improve their skill. And what they what they really uh, were surprised of that people would actually have a learn that they became a learning organization, uh, and it was it was people, sorry I have to find for the words, but um, people appreciated if you were learning because it was booked in your calendar. People could see what you were learning and people also talked about their learnings as well because it was just added in their, during their work day, during their hours. I think uh, I want to give a quote away for today. The only way <laughs> to win is to learn faster than anyone else. I think this is a big impact for every organization. And I think that is the main key takeaway uh, of my presentation today is uh, yeah, try to reduce the time to scale for everyone in your organization. Try to make it easy for everyone to reach, uh, their, to, to, do, to improve their skills and try to be at the place where they're learning. Um, or where they're working, so learning in the flow of work. Um, and learning, of the from, uh, learning in the flow of work is part of our learning ops frame, framework, um, which is a big framework with different, uh, different steps. And it's, it, it comes out to how to reduce the time to, to scale. Um, and if you want to find out more how uh, this framework looks, please come to our stand. I'm happy to show you how the platform looks and how this framework uh, goes, goes into practice. And I want to thank everyone uh, for being here and uh, thank you. <laughs>